What's going on guys, Duggernaut here bringing you another Pokemon deck profile video. Today we're going to be looking at Dustmane Necrozma in the standard format. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for all up-to-date Pokemon content, and the video is going to start right now. What's going on guys? Alright, so we're going to be looking at Duskmane Necrozma uh, for standard. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this deck. Uh, I've played it in a couple cups, did pretty decent. We're going to be looking at it going forward with the new uh, Solgaleo. It's going to be legal um, on the end of this month. It's October. It'll be legal for competitive play uh, on the t 19th. So we've already gone ahead and changed it up. Uh, if, you're, if you're going to a challenge or if you're going to go to a cup prior to the 19th, just go ahead and take these two out. I would say put in another, um, uh, maybe another choice band or a uh, fourth uh, Mount Cornet. But this is going to be what we're going to be running right now. Our main attacker obviously is going to be Dustmane Necrozma. Three colorless for Claw Slash 60. Four, uh, four energy, three metal, one colorless. Meteor Tempest 220. That's going to be our bread and butter. We're going to be using uh, Magnazone for the Magnetic Circuit to make sure that we can accelerate every turn. We have three Cornets to make sure that we're getting our energy back, along with uh, other things. Let's go into each uh, everything, and then I'll get into more detail before I get carried away with myself. Um, the deck runs three Dust Main. Two heat rands. These are your non EX attackers. They also do very well for uh, its first attack. Guard press 30 with DR 30. Put a choice band on. That's 60. Very helpful. Having the 130 hit points always offsets uh, damage sometimes, so it's, you know, not bad. We have Dalgia GX in here as well for shred, uh, but more importantly, we have it for timeless uh, GX. There have been a couple cases where you can power it up. You, uh, you know, you knock out a baby buzz wall. You now ha you use its GX because it's a clean knockout. You're now down to four prizes. And then you either retreat it to take a bigger knockout with uh, Dust Main, or you just get another knockout. Say you have enough for a shred or something. And then it offsets any of the sledgehammer damage. Still very useful. Um, we have our 3-3 three, three line of Metagross. We also teched in uh, the uh, two Magnemites that have bench damage, uh, bench protection with solid unit. And then this tech one, right, Magnemite, that'll let us get three energy if we're going second. Three Magnazones, one Oranguru for Instruct for energy uh, purposes, and then the 1-1 one, one Cosmog Solgaleo line. I'm really enjoying this card. It's a great tech. You could put it in 1-1 one, one with anything that uses rare candies. Two colorless for 120 is fantastic damage, but it's shining main power. It's, 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 it's too good right now. Your Pokemon in play have no weakness. You're going to start seeing this a lot in, like I said, decks that use rare candies. Um, teching it in Rayquaza with, uh, you know, Vicaray. Teching it in with Gardevoir. It's just too good not to. Uh, we also have the one Lele for uh, Wonder Tagging and just for Energy Drive. Um, using Magnemite, uh, Magnazone. Sorry, I keep getting those confused. I apologize. With Magnazone's um, Magnetic Circuit, you can just get some good damage out on it. Uh, as far as our items go, we play one copy of Energy Retrieval. We play one field blower. We play three nest balls. This will help, you know, um, we, we do have a high uh, count of both nest and ultra. So we do three nest balls, four rare candies, obviously. Anytime you don't play any uh, middle evolutions, you always got to make sure you rock four. Uh, my downfall was I was rocking three and um, the consistency wasn't there. You need the fourth one. Uh, one Rescue Stretcher in case you have to Ultra Ball something away. Four Ultra Balls. And uh, we have three Stadiums, which is uh, Mount Coronet, also to help back with uh, Energy Retrievals. Our Supporters, uh, I mean, it's your basic template of Supporters. Four Cynthia, 
uh, four Cynthia, three Lily, and three Guzmas. Uh, we also teched in two Volkners. Uh, Volkner is very good. It's very helpful when getting out your uh, Ultra Balls, getting out your Rare Candies more specifically, and it'll let you get an uh, Electric Energy as well. So we actually teched in two. That could be your manual attach. You could you can manually attach it onto you know Dust Main, then evolve into Magnezone. Then if you have Cornet, get two more back. Energy Retrieve will get two back. Or if you just have two uh, Steel Energy in your hand. Um, with three, you, you know, you're now attacking with Tempest, you're now attacking with Shred, you're now attacking with, uh, Heat Ran. Uh, one Lady, which will help us get the energy we need from our deck. And then if we have too much in the discard and, say, our, uh, coordinates have been, uh, all taken out, we have one Fisherman. That being said, let's go ahead and get into a game real quick, and we'll show you how it works. Always want to first. I mean, not the worst start. I better. Alright, so it looks like we're going up against the spread deck. Heat ran. We have a Rangaroo. All four in there. One, one Nest Ball's prized. One Cornet's prized. One of our Magnezone. And so is our Solgaleo. Okay. That. We go ahead and get Ultra Ball and an Electric, because this will let us get out a Rangaroo. Something. If anything, we'll be able to. Unless he uh, judges us. I don't think he will, especially if I don't have a supporter. I don't. Um, I'm gonna pass the turn. Probably put the DCE on, probably do some spread. We'll be able to... Um, depending on what energy we have, or what card we get, if we have good energy, we'll attach it. We'll be able to jump for, you know, anywhere between two and three, so that'll be good. Very similar to. Oh, he again doesn't have a supporter either. Alright, so that kind of works for us. Um, I mean, good news. So not working. Um. Yeah, I saw a bunch of this in the cup that I went to last. A lot of spread. There was a lot of shrine. I mean, there were shrines everywhere. Shrine decks everywhere. Uh, this tapu. I saw the tapu coco persimian. Um. Saw some shining lugia. Some lapis for some stranger. Uh, one twenty, but see, you heard. Okay, risk it. Oh no! See, that's where we messed up. Our manual attach. Uh, I got too antsy. Will not be able to knock out this turn. Mm 
that uh, that makes me sad. See, you know. There's the DTE. Bike for the acro bike. Trying. Let's go ahead and just pump up just in case. We're going to put two, two on you, and then we'll put two on you. Get a. Yeah. Do that. And then we'll get three more cards. We don't have Sogelios, so. Will not play down the cosmog. Cool. That I have energy. Yeah, I can all get more for re, uh, retreating purposes. So that works out. All my guys will be either be able to um, will be able to either retreat or attack. In fact. Going to retreat Tepu Lele, and I'm just gonna start attacking with uh, Heat Ran. Because Heat Ran will take out everything. I wanna get rid of the Deoxys, and then I wanna get rid of this uh, Simeon. I'm not a fan of them. Okay, psychic me. Oof. Let's go ahead and retreat out. Go ahead and turn it back those energies. Yay, energies. And both. One and two. One. Um. No, let's just hope I can draw into it. Why not? Risk it for the biscuit. But now I have all of my stadiums in case they want to drop more shrines, so that works out. Oh no, the counter energy. So he will take a knockout and get two prizes for the Lele. Drop Dalgia. I don't want to risk any more necessary damage to tribes. Damn. I need to. Uh, no, no. Get these back. And, and attach them up. Man. And you know what, just in case, we're going to drop the other Heat Ran. Uh, in case they, he uh, has the counter energy and decides to start attacking. I care not for, there it is, booyah! I care not for your resistance. Weird that he only has 110 hit points. That, that extra 10 would be offsetting. That's why I really like Heat Ran, because the 130 
uh, especially against like Zorark decks, if they don't, uh, if they whiff the Bowering Fields. Uh, you know. Countercatcher. Sounds about right. Flip. Uh, we need. First. Hit you. Worst case scenario, I'm going to craft. Start using Sogelio to start powering up everything else. And we're gonna go ahead and get rid of you. in case he gets rid of it with his fourth uh, stadium which will give enough to attack all my guys will be able to attack at least um, even with guard press it still you know it's kicking the ass I will be retreating with Solgaleo because with resistance I'm only going to do 100 damage so make sure him out of the active. Let me get rid of that meme cue as well. Oh, okay. Um, neat. Go ahead and fail that so that way we can instruct. So how does this how does this work? You have increased damage or do you have increased hit points? Uh okay, it's just damage. Alright, cool. Any energy in the discard? I do. Go ahead and put that. You. Want to hit? You know what? His GX also I forgot to mention is um is I mean really good too. It heals all damage uh from all of your Pokemon. Very similar to uh. Uh, Altaria's, uh, Altaria GX's, uh, Euphoria, it just doesn't put anyone to sleep. So, this is a great way to heal, like, I have, you know, just a bunch of spread damage everywhere. If, if they were to use, uh, uh, you know, a Pokemon that, um, that moves damage around, it'd be, uh, in a world of hurt, because you'd probably be able to knock out, uh, at least two things right now. I mean, it's a good way to just, you know, Clear the board of any damage, especially if you've taken a lot from shrines. All right. So what'll happen? Yeah. See, like, right. That's exactly. Be able to knock out both heat. 
hole. What'll happen? Probably want to take out. I mean, it doesn't matter. I have I have game in hand right now with just the single energy. Go, took the last prize. Oof. All right, cool beans. Get another. I mean, that's it. That's that's pretty much how the deck's going to work itself out. Uh, fire. Just fighting be another shrine deck could be baby bug ball. Uh yeah. Dark, maybe we'll take let's see what we're working. All right, so we have our Magnemites, we have one Magnezone surprised, we have both uh, Cosmo against Sugelio. Have our Lele. We have all three. Lily is prized, and he looks like both our electric energy. Okay. That no, okay. Uh, so then, rock nine. So two is prized, along with uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I know, along with a um. That one prevent red, and that'll be our turn. Next turn, we will we'll ultra ball away rare candy, and depending on what we top deck or ooh, uh, or uh, dust main. Okay, so it is it is uh, buzz wall with uh, lichen rock. All right. Ha ha! Uh, that was smart. Um, really? Go ahead and get that out. That. At least we can get an accelerator. Now we're just going to go ahead. We got another Ultra Bolt. And the other energy. And then what's going to happen is next turn we will. We'll be able to Ultra Bolt for Lele. And that's what we're going to have to do that way. So here's the Kukui. Looks like he's still... Looks like he's still drawing a blank. So hopefully that will help us. I don't... I need to take down the Rock Ruff. If I fill up my bench, it's going to... Just going to power up his GX. 
Um. I'll just save it. This trying to ah uh, there it is okay so two probably yeah that's smart instruct for you. gonna suck because it's gonna put him in We will be able to get back that lately. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and risk. Lele. 50. Um, yes. We're working with F5. So we're going to go ahead and get Cynthia, but we're also going to Lady, right? For those. And we will go.
Oh, I did not have it. Okay, cool. Be able to capitalize a little bit because it's... Now you're going to... Take out his free retreat. Cynthia this. Um... Very handy. That's funny. Um... up. No, because it wouldn't have mattered. Because if I had gotten put down thus main. Retreat, pull back, and also drop. Um, at this point, it really doesn't matter, so let's get at least more. all those three away and be able to nope oh, and probably gonna get out my cargo now yeah. um play what's the play what's the play Son of a sub. Well, I have... Okay. You can do it. There are ways, you know, to make this work. I'm gonna instruct. Give us some draw power. Give us some draw power. Ah, uh, what I needed. I mean... Prizes. If it would that way. Kill it slowly. Because if I can get that all three of my Guzmas, it is all three.
got got that now, so that'll be very helpful. Um, go ahead and attach here and I'm going to kill Magnus. At least that's what although he can take it too. He's not. No, probably not. He'll probably go for killing. Second MP Hill Gax. Um, Dewey's probably got two, one, one to two more. Probably safe to. I was thinking taking up the Magmite, seeing if I could get that would have uh, retreated. It would have been too risky of a play, so I would have I would have promoted Magnemite, dropped one energy on him, and then I would have used Magnezone to put one here. Then Cynthia, I should have Ultra Balled. And I would have been shy. Should have Ultra Balled uh, the way. Had a greater chance to give myself a greater chance to pull the. Um, uh, energy Recycler. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. That's pretty much how the deck plays out. Like I said, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot in Standard. I will probably continue to play it until Lost Thunder comes out, uh, at which time um, I'm either going to go with Lost March or I'm going to go uh, back to Glaceon. Because, um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much how the deck works out. <sighs> All right, guys, and that's pretty much how the deck works out. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys found it helpful. Like I said, um, guys and that's gonna be it for the video this has been our look at dust made necrozma like i said uh it's a fun deck i've had a lot of fun with it uh playing it in standard uh, i will continue to play it in standard until lost thunder at which time i'll either just do lost march like everyone else or i'll go back to glaceon hopefully you found this video helpful you can uh damn it
Alright guys, and that's going to wrap it up for this video. This has been Dustmaid Necrozma. Like I said, I've had a lot of fun with it in Standard. I think it's a really fun deck to play. I'm going to continue to be playing it at Challenges and Cups that are in Standard uh, until Lost Thunder, at which time I'll most likely just be playing Lost March or I'll go back to Glaceon. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, you know, take the deck, roll with it. Uh, if there's something you don't like with it, make some changes, make it yours, you know. Like I tell uh, everyone, you know, Find the template that you like, find a deck list that you like, and, you know, make some modifications. If there's something you don't like about it, change it. You don't like the Volkners and the Electric Energy? Change it. You know? Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. This has been Dustmane Necrozma for... <sighs> and that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. This has been Dustmane Necrozma for Standard. Uh, like I said, I've been having a lot of fun with the deck. Uh, I think it's a really fun deck to play. Um... I'm going to keep playing it in standard tournaments for Cups and Challenges until Lost Thunder, at which time I'll most likely just switch over to Lost March or back to Glaceon, because uh, water gets some help. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what deck you want to see next. I'm going to be doing some more uh, for... Uh, damn it. Alright, and that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hope you guys found it useful. Hope you, uh, hope you found it... And that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Hope you found this video helpful. Hope it's useful for you. Uh, you can take the template of the deck, uh, make some modifications, like I said. So Galio is not legal until the third Friday, which is the 19th of this month. So uh, it obviously won't be used for tournament play. After that, like I said, I'm going to be playing it in standard. This is the deck list that I'll be rolling with. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with it. You know, at least until Lost Thunder comes out. Uh, but that's going to be it. Uh, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what deck you want to see next, and, uh, you know, if you want to see something janky, you want to see something meta, just let me know. I'll try to make it work. Uh, but I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.